Hey guys, today we'll go over basically the an air blower that we got, a bon air, air blower I got at Costco for about 20 bucks. Now recently I've just been blowing stuff away, like blowing away stuff on my porch, but every week, or every two weeks, I wash my boat. Just, just basically do a quick scrub down and stuff with suds and basically just wash everything out. And I usually squeegee most of the water off. It's one of these um, popular water blades that were very popular like probably seven years ago, five years ago. I bought one or two of these things and they still all they still work. So I still use it. It takes off about 80% of all the water off the car, except for the fine detailed spot like where the nozzles are or where the edges and the small detailed parts. Um, you really can't get much water off of it. You get all the flat parts off and you just basically squeegee all this water off. Of course, you're supposed to work from the top bottom, but I think, um, yeah, I basically went the other way. And just moving all the water out off the car really quick and it doesn't really harm your wax as much as like a terry cloth would but i like using it and it quickly takes most of the water off and leaves no spots um but after that we say just use the terry cloth and use the detailing out of the small little you know drops i can't get then the small fine areas that a squeegee can't get and it that's pretty much 90 percent of all the water that comes off 90 to maybe even you know 95 percent then i just take off the stuff all that water stuck in between door jams and the hatch, and it's just it's pretty quick. But using that air blower, I figured, hey, I just got it. I'm also blow out all that stuff off between the the, um, the detailed pieces and the um, other small parts that still contain water, so they don't drip and leave a residue or even leave um, stains afterwards as you know as the day goes on. Basically, usually the water drips out later and it causes dust to collect there. And I want to get rid of that too. So I basically used a blower and just blew off all that water coming off of the major parts and major lines uh, in between the lines, in between the headlights, um, any detail parts, the grill, just blew out most of that water either in or out so that it doesn't you know, leave watermarks later. It's actually very, very convenient and fast. It just uses, just plugs right into the wall. Stuff like the handle, hand, uh, door handles and stuff have a lot of water as well. As you can see, it's popping right out. It's really, really convenient just to quickly do a quick blow and it takes out most of that water out, which is nice. I just use a little terracot and wipe it off, but just really quick to just quickly blow it out. Especially at the, um, any small glass pieces like the rearview mirror. And also all this plastic stuff that they have in, um, in between, you know, the Chevy Volt's, um, plastic parts and stuff. And I really don't want to use the terracot there because sometimes it gets caught between the, the Volt's, um, decals or the little emblem things and it might just actually tear it and get caught. I also found out that if I opened all the doors, I could quickly do it for use it for dusting. So I just basically shoot through the crevices and also the um, in between the seats to blow out any french fries or anything that might fell down there. Mostly dust and stuff. It's very easy to blow between the seats and blow up most of the stuff towards the mat, the front of the, um, the front of the seat well, so that I could basically take the entire mat out and dust it. Uh, as you can see, it's actually pretty awesome. It just blows out everything. So usually what I do is I blow out most of the stuff around the mat, onto the mat. And, you know, now I'm not sure if this is actually good for you, so try this on your own risk. But I like, it's just made it a lot simpler just to blow all the stuff out. I'm worried that it might blow in, up under the dash. But overall, it's been working pretty well. I just blowed everything onto to the, um, to, on the, onto the mat. Blow off the seats, blow off everything. And most of that dust flies out the doors because I have all the doors open and the hatch open. So then I just take everything off on the of the stuff and just basically dust off all, the entire mat and smack it against the wall a few times or fence. And then now it's relatively clean. Um, again, there's still some finishing touches. I probably use a terry cloth to wipe off some more stuff. Um, but overall, it's not bad if you don't want to pull out a vacuum. Since you're drying off your car anyways with that thing, you might as well just use this thing to blow off any other remaining dust and stuff out. So then you just use a terry cloth to wipe off the large main pieces, the small pieces and stuff. You could probably just, you know, use a terry cloth to wipe off. Uh, that's what I do, you know, for how I clean my car. But, you know, most of the time it looks pretty clean afterwards. After you do, a, you know, the blowout versus me just using a terry cloth, a moist terry cloth to wipe down uh, most of the dust. So there you are. There is a relatively clean, you know, area. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching this week. Um, stay tuned for next week where we work on find some other fun tips. See ya.